What's going on everybody? This is Pat Ward with US Cornhole. And today on tips, tricks, and practice routines, we are talking about breaking in cornhole bags. That is right, my friends. You get some bags, you get some brand new bags, and what are we going to do with these bags to give us an advantage? We want these bags to feel like butter in our hands. We want these bags to go straight into the hole every time. Well, what do we have for you today? We are going to give you an inside tip. We're gonna go and check in with the pros, Steve and Jen Vandiver, and we're going to see what they have up their sleeve as far as their personal tips, how to break in these bags. Let's see what they have for us. Uh, I've heard there's some really great ideas on how to break in bags. Well, here around the house, we love to grill. And I thought, and we can grill up some pretty tender, pretty broken in different items. So we're going to try a little grilling action, a little tenderize. Okay, so we've got one on the grill, and I got one that we grilled a little bit too much. So we want to be careful when you grill, not to over grill your bags, because you could actually come through the fabric and this could happen to you. But if you grill it just right, you're in business. Hey, sweetheart. What you doing? Just doing some laundry. Laundry. Those are cornhole bags. I saw online that um, when you wash them in the washer, they throw much better, break in a lot faster, so I'm giving it a try. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to throw them. Guess we'll have to see how it shakes out. Just air frying my bags. Don't think they're quite tender enough. Need a few more minutes. Oh, something smells good. Hey, Mom, what's for dinner? Yeah, what dinner? Well, we have boiled bags. Looks good, don't it? We also have Instant Pot Extra Tender Bags. I can't wait to try them. Hopefully they're really good. Sure. Up, go forward now. We're a little skeptical at first, running over our $100 bags, but we've heard people swear by it. So uh, we're giving it a shot. Hi, everybody. Yes, we had a lot of fun with, with those videos, actually. Uh, we've had a lot of people actually reach out to us and ask us, what is the best way to break in bags? And what do we do to break in bags? I can tell you one thing, is we don't do any of those things in the videos <laughs> that you just saw. What would you say? What do we do to break in our bags? Play. A lot. That's, I mean, there really isn't any other way to break them in the way that they should be broken in. Right. If you play with them, the more you play with them, the more you get used to them, the way they play. I mean, it's, it makes sense just to play and throw them a lot. Throw your bags. That is exactly what we do for practicing. And there's a lot of reasons, or at least several reasons why, and it actually makes you a better player not getting exact bags every time just to automatically go out and throw. Yes, that's nice, that's convenient. But going through the different stages of how bags change and the feel when they're kind of a little bit stiff in the very beginning, learn to throw that. You never know. You go somewhere, if you go somewhere and that's what you have to deal with. Right, you never know when you might be throwing a stiffer bag or a new feel type bag. So throw them. Practice with them, go through the different life cycles of your bag. It's going to make you a better thrower and more versatile. That is our tip for the week. Thanks, everybody. <laughs>